Hi, in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to protect a Microsoft Access application with Quick License Manager. During the tutorial, we're going to walk through a guide that is provided on our support site. So let's go to the support site. Click Visit Our Community. Click on Step by Step Guides and locate the article that says Protect an MS Access Application. OK, so we're going to walk through the steps here. We're going to launch QLM. The next step is to create a product. In our case, we're going to use the Demo 1.0 product. Then, we're going to go to the Protect Your Application tab. We're going to click Next, and we're going to select the product to protect. If you're evaluating, pick the Demo License Server. Then, we're going to select VB6 as the language for Microsoft Access. This is where you customize the look and feel of the license wizard. We're going to keep the default values for now, but if you want to customize it later on, you can do so. And then finally, we're going to save our configuration into a folder. And we've selected this folder. Pick any folder of your choice. So if we go to this path, We've essentially created two files. One is an XML file that contains the customization of the look and feel of the wizard. The other one is a class file that we're going to have to add to the Microsoft Access application. So let's continue here. We finished step three. Step four, we need to copy some files that are required for the licensing. So we're going to go to this folder. We'll go to this folder, and we're going to copy some files. These files. We're going to copy them to the folder where we're going to have our MS Access application. Then, we're going to open an Access application. For this tutorial, I'm just going to create one. I'll call it Test. So in step 6, we need to add some references, because our library requires .NET, so we need to reference some .NET DLLs. If you click Alt F11, the Visual Basic Editor starts up. Click on Tools, References, click Browse and then locate the DLLs that we need to add. And the second DLL. And then the third DLL is the QLM License Lib TLB. So this is one of the files that we copied over. We're just going to point to the folder where we copied it, and we're going to pick License TLB. And that's it. So now we've added references. If you go back to the access, let's just create a form and maybe add a button to this form. Just a button that exits the application. So that's our access application. Let's go back to the steps. We finished these steps. We're at step 7. Now we need to add some code in the form open event. We're going to call a function called check license. Just double click on your form and then go to the on open and double click on that. And then call the function called QLM check license here. Then we'll define it now. Go back here. In the VBA editor, let's insert the module called Check License. Insert Module. Let's call it Check License. And then we're going to add this code to check the license module right there.
OK, now we're going to insert a class module. Insert class module. We're going to call this class module license validator. Then we're going to paste the contents of the license validator class, which was copied right here. I'm going to open it and then copy the contents of this. And we're going to paste the contents here. OK. And then we're going to save everything. We can close everything. As soon as you start to open the form, the check license function is called. This is a stop sign just for debugging purposes. We're going to continue. The first time around, no license key is found on the system. The license wizard is automatically launched. We're going to step through. Click Next. We have three options here. Activate a license online, offline, or deactivate. Click Activate a license online. Next, let's create a license key. Put the license wizard aside. Go to the Manage Keys tab. Click Create. Pick the default options for product demo 1.0. This is going to create a license key. Copy the license key to the clipboard, and then go back to the Access application. Paste the key and click Activate. It's connecting to the license server and activating the license. When we click Finish, the Access application should start properly. Now, if you close Access and you start it again, this time the license wizard is not going to be launched because it should find the key right away. And the form is launched automatically. This completes the tutorial on how to protect a Microsoft Access application. Thank you.